any advantage people can have over the brutal forces of nature can save lives, of course. And that is the thinking behind a worthwhile Canadian initiative in seismic studies centered in Halifax. Our Brett Ruskin, as usual, centered in Halifax. And he's been talking to the researchers about what they hope to accomplish. Brett, good morning. Well, Heather, good morning. Researchers hope to accomplish and uh, to uh, get a better grasp on exactly how earthquakes and seismic activity affects Canadians. And they say that most of the seismic events that occur here in Canada don't actually happen on land. They actually happen offshore, but there's not very many sensors there. And those offshore seismic activities can have deadly consequences for coastal communities. Hey, yo. One year ago this week, this happened. The 86-person community of Nugatsiak, Greenland, just across from Canada, was nearly wiped out by a tsunami. These videos posted online by residents show the devastation. We really actually need to do something, and we currently have basically no scientific knowledge. No knowledge because there's no network of seismic sensors offshore to detect tsunami-causing earthquakes or landslides, says Mladen Nadimovic. 90% of all of the earthquakes that occur that affect Canadians occur right at our offshore. They're not actually on land. He says this new lab under construction will soon make Canada a world leader in offshore seismic research. More than 100 sensors will be dropped in the ocean all around the country and will feed info back here. Would be then the largest in the world, which would be appropriate for the country that has by far the largest coast. This lab could help protect Canada's coastal communities, starting with those in the north. The population is relatively small of these uh, hamlets up there, but, but they're rapidly growing. And, well, there'll be probably only greater need to, to take care of our people there yeah. and protect them. So. And now this project is not only going to help those communities up north, it will also help communities all along Canada's coastline, Atlantic, Arctic and Pacific regions. There have been universities that have signed on to support this project all across the country, as well as government departments and private companies as well, to try to create this horseshoe shaped network of these earthquake and seismic sensors to try to study earthquakes off Canada's coast and try to predict when they might happen next. Heather. And fill in some of those important gaps in scientific knowledge. Thank you very much. Brett Ruskin in Halifax this morning.